Last week, all eyes were on Google as they had hosted their annual I.O. Developer Conference, unveiling a wave of groundbreaking AI tools, powerful large language models, and exciting innovations across the board. But amidst all of these different announcements, there was one surprise Google didn't actually talk about on the stage, and yet it quietly launched on the same day. This is where I would like to introduce Stitch, Google's brand new AI-powered UI designer. And the best part is it's fully free. It's incredibly easy to use and it's designed to be the fastest way to create beautiful UIs and product designs using AI. There's no complicated software. You can use it on the web to design different UI components for your web browser or for any sort of mobile app. And what's nice is that this is something that's powered by the Google DeepMind models. So Gemini 2.5 Pro as well as Gemini 2.5 Flash. Both are exceptional in terms of front-end designs, so you can use Stitch to transform simple text prompts into polished UI designs like you can see over here. You have the ability to create almost any sort of visually appealing front-end with this, and it's something that is going to be compatible for a mobile planner, and it will help you design at the speed of what AI is capable of doing. You have the ability to also easily adjust certain components, export your code, you can even design on your own in by highlighting certain areas and much more. Also, just a side note, with the Flash model, you get approximately 350 generations, but with the Gemini 2.5 Pro, you get access to 50 generations. And that's a limit that actually gets reset every single month. Before we get started, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Plandex. If you ever used AI coding tools like Cursor or Codex, you probably know the feeling where you hit a wall once your project gets too big or too complex. That's where Plandix stands out. Plandix is a terminal-based AI development tool built for real-world software, not just toy apps or single file scripts. It can plan, execute, debug large-scale coding tasks that span dozens of files and millions of tokens. Think 100k tokens per file and project maps across 20 million plus tokens. Just take a look at Plandex Live in Action, your coding agent designed for large projects and real world tasks. In this example, Plandex can automatically start Chrome, cache console errors, and walk through debugging browser apps like a pro. What's really unique is how it combines the best models from OpenAI, Claude, Gemini, and even open source models using the most cost efficient and cost effective model that is capable to step into your workflow and make the necessary changes. Plus the built-in diff review sandbox, the auto debugging, and the fine-grained execution control means you're always in charge and your code stays clean. So if you've ever felt limited by other tools, definitely recommend that you give Plandex a shot as it will push the boundaries of what's possible with AI-assisted development with the link in the description below. But with that thought, let's get right back into today's video. So to get started, it's actually fairly easy. You just need to have a Google account and you can simply sign in. Now there's two separate modes. You have the standard mode, which is to design faster with the Gemini 2.5 Flash. But then the experimental mode is where you use the Gemini 2.5 Pro, which I highly recommend that you use because you're going to be able to get better outputs because of the coding quality and performance that we saw from the benchmarks. Now, this is the main dashboard of Stitch. You have a mobile planner and a web planner. So you can simply I type in anything in natural language and you can have the AI execute that task. I like to design a page for a store that sells mid-century Scandinavian furniture called Dane Design. You can see it right away, it is gonna deploy AI agents to execute this task and it's gonna then showcase the visualization of the UI components being generated with the help of AI. And there you go, you can see the main design of our website has been fully generated and it looks absolutely amazing. You can actually copy it to Figma you can edit it as well by copying the component within the chat interface and changing up things. So you can ask it, change the theme to a darker uh, color, and then we can send it in. And you can see that it's gonna then execute that task. Now, one thing you can also do is edit the theme from the top right, where you can change the appearance, you can change the color scheme, custom uh, colors, as well as the corner radius. So you have a lot of flexibility in changing the UI components of whatever it generates for you. And there we go. There is the darker theme that it had generated, which looks pretty good in my opinion. Now in the same manner, you can do the same for the mobile planner where you can send in a prompt like designing a quiz page 
in a language learning app with the progress bar at the top the title challenges you to match the spanish word with the correct answer offering four possible options and you can see that it did it pretty quickly it generated this mobile interface for this app quite uh, easily and you can see the different options you have to answer this question now a really cool thing i noticed is that with the experimental mode you have the ability to attach sketches mock-ups or even visual inspiration so that it is able to mimic that whatever you attach and it's going to be able to try to replicate or keep that same sort of style so what i'm going to be doing is designing a minimalistic mobile app called daily stoic that displays one stoic quote per day and it's a short encouraging reflection that will be sent to people so let's see if it's able to replicate what I had asked for. I'm asking it to have a light and dark mode, different color pads, optional features like quote history and etc. So let's see what it's capable of generating. And there we go. It has generated a basic structure for our app. But what we can also do is have it generate the other pages by simply just saying generate the other pages. And what it will do is execute the task of generating the UI components for the code history, the favorites tab, as well as the settings. And just like that, we have the three other components generated for the different pages. So all of our saved quotes are going to be showcased within this tab over here, which I had generated. It has also generated the quote history as well as the settings tab. So this is actually a good way to generate all the simple components that you want for an app while keeping the coherence of the style as well as the design that you want. So let's try something new. This is where I'm going to actually attach a mock-up or a visual inspiration. And I'm simply going to provide a picture of an Airbnb website. Now, what I want to do is have the AI replicate it with the experimental Gemini 2.5 Pro. So I'm going to say, can you take this image I have attached and replicate it for me, please? And let's see how well it is in terms of taking on this task for us. With this visual inspiration I provided, I want to see how well the Stitch application is in terms of replicating all the components of this Airbnb website. So let's see what it actually does. Now, this is just insane, guys. From randomly just searching up Airbnb website, I got a UX design of Airbnb. And this is what the Stitch app was capable of generating. This is truly amazing because it was able to knock down all the components for me and it is something that also provides the code. If you click on uh, the actual canvas itself, you can take a look at the code in which you can copy all the components and you can use it for your own specific use case. But I'm just shocked to see that it did a great job and it was pretty quick in terms of replicating all this completely for free. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different ai tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily ai news and exclusive content plus a lot more but that's basically it guys for today's video on stitch this is a remarkable new fully free ai ui designer developed by google and it is just truly insane because the output that you get is awesome especially having it powered by the Gemini 2.5 Pro. I highly recommend that you take a look at it right now since there's not a lot of downtime and you're able to generate things pretty quickly. So I'll leave all the links in the description below so that you can easily get started. Make sure you go and subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. Make sure you do the same for the newsletter. Join our Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spare positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, dog.